Well, today we're working on one of the most important parts of your home, actually the backbone of your home. It's the foundation. You gotta get this part right because if you don't, the rest of the home will never be right. Things won't be level, doors won't open and close, your sheetrock's gonna crack. You've gotta get this part just perfect. You guys are out here, as you can tell, pouring concrete. And let's start right there. It's concrete, it is not cement. Cement is an ingredient of concrete. Concrete is cement, water, sand, and gravel. We've got all that here. The guys have a big area to cover also, as you can see. This home is 6,000 square feet. That's about 150 yards of concrete, so about 17, 18, 19 trucks loads out here. You can't reach it by just backing a truck up and putting the chute down. So we've actually got a pump truck here. This is a pump truck behind me, and the guys actually dump the concrete into the back end of the truck. It goes up through the tube and out through the bottom. They just move that tube wherever they're gonna need the concrete throughout the foundation. So that way we can get a good, even surface. If we were just dumping it from the side on a foundation this big and trying to pull it out there with the come along, they're gonna have a lot of problems. We wouldn't get it level. But as you can see like this, you can dump the concrete anywhere that you need it so you can have a good quality job. That's what's gonna be most important. It's gotta be right today. We can't come back later and work on this or fix it. You gotta do it right today. This has got what's called about a five inch slump. That means if you poured it in a pile, it'd stand about five inches tall before it would start to fall down. We want about a five inch slump on most foundations. That's gonna give us a good strong foundation. Now, concrete has a couple of properties. One is that it gets harder every day of its life because there's chemical reactions going off. The second is it's gonna crack. Sometime in its life, it is gonna crack, even this big foundation. So what do we do to prevent that from being a problem? We're putting in these cables. These are called post-tension cables. You see this red sheathing here. It actually has an anchor on the other end in the beam of the concrete, and it comes all the way across, and it actually protrudes outside of our form boards here for our foundation. This steel part here is actually what's inside this red plastic sheathing. The sheathing is protection, so the concrete doesn't hurt the steel cable. But we're gonna come back later and put a ram on that, and we're actually gonna pull that cable to put tension on this foundation, actually pull the concrete tighter. That'll make the concrete stronger, foundation stronger. And then when the concrete does crack sometime, it can't move side to side, it can't move apart, it can't move up and down because you've got all these cables pulling it together from every direction. So we're gonna have one solid foundation, which is really what we want for our home. Well, as you can see, the home is now underway. It's been exactly seven days and our concrete's hardened up enough that we can go ahead and stress it and put tension on our cables. First thing we need to do though is remove this plastic that's here on the cable, put some wedges in so the cable won't back in. So Bobby from Post Tension and Steel is here to get the job started. We'll pull the black piece off, then stick some wedges down both sides. Little pieces of metal, but it will keep the cable from backing back into the foundation. You gotta have it or else there's no way to hold the cable in place once they put tension on. Now you're probably wondering how much does the cable actually move? Well, the cable moves about one inch for every 12 feet. This is about 45 feet across, so we're gonna have approximately three and a half inches of movement once we actually put tension on there. But we need to know for sure that we did do that, so we're gonna take a two by four and set it against our foundation. We'll set it on a nail and on the cable and just put a little bit of paint there. That's gonna give us our marking point. We just use the two by four to get a straight edge. Okay, there we go. Do it on this one as well. Now I'll get out of the way and Bobby will come in and put some tension on it. Now you can actually see the hydraulics moving the cable out of the foundation. You can see the first glimpse of our paint there. So you can see we already pulled it a couple inches. And the engineer designed this one to cut off at 5,500 pounds on the gauge. 5,500 pounds on the gauge means that we're gonna have about 29,000 pounds of pressure on that cable. And that's a lot of tension squeezing that concrete together. So we'll have a good, strong foundation. Pulling the second cable here. There's 66 cables in this foundation. We gotta go pull every single one of them. So Bobby will spend about an hour to get them all exactly where he wants them. And we're there. So now it comes time to measure to make sure that we did pull it far enough and that our gauge wasn't lying to us. Take a tape measure, put our block on there. We'll look from our block to there, three and a half inches. You can see it's three and a half inches to the paint, which is exactly what the engineer designed this for. Now we've got to do all 66 cables around here, but once we're done, 
we're going to have one solid piece of concrete with tension from all directions pulling towards the center, which will make the concrete stronger, which means a better home for you. No matter how much the ground moves, one foundation.